Welcome to the Everton News Daily. The Everton players return to Finch Farm today to begin preparations for the new season with the uh, beginning of pre-season and the testing which will go on for the next couple of days. New signings, Illaman and Dai, Tim Irabunan and Jack Harrison were pictured. Neil Mopai returned as well and Dominic Calvin-Lewin was also there in the uh, brand new Castori training gear. Uh, both of course have been linked away with moves from the club. Everton target, target Jaden Philogen, who plays as a winger for Hull City, is set to uh, reportedly sign for Ipswich Town. Uh, the club, well, Everton, obviously want the player to uh, join, but it looks like he's likely to join Ipswich. Uh, he's been linked with Crystal Palace and Barcelona. Uh, Fab Romano was ruled out a move for him going to uh, Barcelona, even though the player's agent turned up there. But... Uh, Philogen played a total of 32 games in the championship last season, scoring 12 goals uh, and registering six assists. Another whole player who haven't have been strongly linked with is centre-back Jacob Greaves, and he is uh, all set to sign for Ipswich. Uh, and it looks like Philogen will go there as well. Everton have not done a deal, although the player is uh, believed to want to come to Everton. Everton have not agreed any deal with Hull City. Uh, according to reports over the weekend as well, uh, Everton have made a 16.8, 16.8 million pound bid for Leon defender Jake O'Brien. Everton have been strongly linked with O'Brien the last few weeks, although there has been interest from Premier League, other Premier League clubs, including West Ham United. The Irish centre-half is now 23 years of age and has played 27 times in League 1 last season, scoring four goals. We'll have to wait and see whether anything comes of that with Everton, hoping to uh, get rid of the centre-backs and obviously with uh, Ben Godfrey leaving as well. And finally, Jordan Pickford helped England into the Euro semi-finals over... The weekend, they obviously made a penalty save, which helped England get through. And uh, yeah, had a good game, even though the media would like to say yeah, that he didn't. So uh, good luck to Jordan. That game, of course, against the Netherlands is on Wednesday, and he's been absolutely fantastic through the tournament so far. There you go. These have been today's Everton news stories. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, Videos without any adverts in. Join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description. The QR codes come on the screen now. See you later.